To say Laura is one of my favorite Marvel characters is really an understatement. I I've loved her as a character since her Rocky beginnings, to being on the new X-Men team, to going on a team with her Papa Logan in X-Force, uh, to becoming a full member of the X-Men team, to taking on her father's mantle as the Wolverine. So much this character has gone through through the years. Now, I want to get this out of the way before we get some haters in here. I like Logan. I think he's a cool dude. Uh, going from the gruff and grumpy to the protector of children and wanting to protect his family and be there for others. I think he had a great character development throughout the 30 plus years he's been around. But for me, there's always room for other characters to take on the mantle. And when Logan dies, at least for a little while, Laura steps up. But, just like our Batgirl video, let's back up a bit. You want to know who Laura is, how she became the Wolverine. We got to talk about how she got there and what she had to go through. Listen, Laura did not have an easy start. In fact, her very first appearance is X-Men Evolution. It's an like an older show. If you're old like me, you might remember this show. <laughs> I'm making a joke, I'm not that old. Uh, but, when X-23 started there... It was, I guess, people loved her so much, her design and everything. They, they wanted her in the comic. And so they brought her in the comic in, a, well, a really weird way. Laura was shown to be a prostitute uh, when she was first introduced in the comic world in a mini title called NYX. Now, this title was meant to be more for the mature audience. And this was dealing with um, kids who are mutants who are dealing with, like, getting targeted by other people and being hunted and so on. Um... But worse than that, uh, being a prostitute, and not nothing against prostitutes, but a child prostitute. That's right. She was a kid. Uh, that's the problem I think most people have. Not the fact that she was a sex worker, um, but the fact that she was a child as a sex worker, meaning she was forced into it. Um, it, is, it is pretty weird. It's icky is really the way to talk about it because it just... The way she started is not the best way. She already goes through a lot of trauma, which I'll get to, but uh, this was just not the best way to start a character. Luckily, it didn't last too long, and we get out of that plot line, and we give a proper origin to X-23. Now, this is what made X-23 such an interesting character to start with, her origin story, uh, dealing with being created as a weapon, similar to Logan. Now, relying on her own wit and bravery while also learning to just kind of be a normal person again, or ever, without needing to kill is both fascinating and heartbreaking. You're finally uh, learning more about her, and then she starts going on her own adventures, and, you know, you kind of meet more or you get more of like gambit being kind of like a big brother to her and logan being more like a father to her so that was great but she goes through a lot of crap in between all this first off she finally joins the new x-men team which is basically like the young new mutants becoming an x-men team but of course when she joins this is the after events of house of m if you don't know what house of m is which would be surprising at this point. Scarlet Witch basically goes, no more mutants. And I think like 95 or 98% of mutants either lose their power or die. Um, depending on what their powers are. Now, after the events of House of M, Laura joins the school for mutants. And there's a brutal strike on the kids at school. And uh, Laura is tossed back into the vicious cycle of horror and death. She gets through it all, learning to actually make some new friends through being on this team, and it's one of the greatest runs, too, for her character, but not without losing some in the process. So you'd think, oh, well, that's hard, man, but maybe after this she'll get a happy life. No. <laughs> now, in comes even darker days for the character as she joins the X-Force team. Here, Logan tries his best to kind of be a mentor, but the relentless murdering, even if it's bad guys, starts taking a toll on young Laura. It isn't until later that Logan realizes that maybe her life doesn't have to be quite like his life, and maybe she isn't the same, and that's okay. Uh, after this, Laura gets to join multiple teams, but it just seems like death just follows her everywhere. Uh, this is sadly her tragic backstory. It really isn't until her father figure Logan dies. Sometimes with a death, we kind of, when we lose somebody close to us, we push ourselves further than ever before. And Laura does just that. 
she puts on the suit and right away she goes out to save people and stop crime. I mean, this is what makes her such an interesting character is she goes through all this shit in her life, but she doesn't stop. And right away we're introduced uh, to clones of her and she has to decide what to do. Should he, she kill them? They're dangerous. They're weapons. Or should she help them? And this introduces us to possibly the biggest reason for Laura's growth in her own Wolverine series, Gabby, the youngest clone of Laura. It is through Tom Taylor's extremely strong run that you really get to see Laura grow into a full adult. She fights like her father, vicious, yet she won't let that side take complete control of her ever again. Between trying to balance out of being a good sister to Gabby, while also living up to her father's name, she never stops pushing forward. One extremely important moment is facing her past, and in a moment where she almost loses again, she, she's just about to kill this person. She screams, I'm not X-23. I'm not your experiment. I'm not your fucking property. You are the last person who will ever think they can own me. No one owns me. I'm not a thing. I'm Laura. And I'm the daughter of Sarah. I'm the daughter of Logan. And I'm Wolverine. And when I say that this moment actually brought tears to my eyes after all the shit this girl has gone through, it's just a line where she crosses over to be a real major hero in my mind. Now, why is she the perfect Wolverine in my opinion? Well, the Wolverine might be known to kind of be the best at what he does and what he does isn't nice. But for me, really, Wolverine, when you really get down to it, is the ultimate protector. They fight they use their own skin and bones if they have to to be torn up and ripped apart and blown apart, destroyed to protect the ones that he loved when he was Wolverine. And guess what? Laura does the same thing in her own way, living up to the mantle without a doubt. She is the Wolverine. She does exactly what Logan would do just her own way. And that's what makes her different and also a Wolverine. And like she says, She's not X-23. She's not an experiment. She's Wolverine. And anyone who disagrees, well, just get the fuck over it. If you like what you saw here and want to order Wolverine Omnibus starring Laura and All Her Glory by Tom Taylor, head over to OrganicPriceBooks.com. We're talking 700 pages for a discounted price of $65 when the retail price is $100. On top of that, if you use my coupon code, Ultimate Chance, all together, you can get two more dollars off. So we're talking free shipping, $2 off, plus $35 off the retail price. Guys, girls, what are we waiting for? Pick this one up right now.